Okay. The first thing to do to create an SSH key is open up your terminal. So you can see my terminal here. And it doesn't matter what directory you're in, just as wherever you are when your terminal first opens up, you can type in this command. And at the very end of this, after that dash C, I'm going to put in quotes and then put in the email address that I used when I registered my GitHub account. <laughs> and then you just hit enter and say it's generating the key pair. And this next prompt is where do you want these files to be created? And at the end there, you can see inside the parentheses is giving you a default choice. You can just go ahead and accept that default and you could hit enter. Now it's going to ask you for a passphrase. A passphrase is highly recommended when you're using SSH keys, but for your time during NSS, it's okay to have a blank password for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and hit enter. And to verify the password, hit enter again. And then you'll get this weird looking output, which is meaningless. It doesn't mean anything. So let me show you what gets created. So if you, in your terminal, if you type in just CD enter, that's going to take you to what is called your home directory. And you can see what the full path of that directory is by typing in PWD, which is uh, short for print working directory. Okay. That is my home directory. The file that it just created, that SSH key, if you then cd into that ssh and do an ls to look at the contents of this directory you're going to see two files first one is id rsa and id rsa.pub i have other ones because i have other keys but as long as you see those two files right there your ss key ssh key has been created and you're ready to go